you are provided with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide so this was supposed to be capital M so that is 0 0.1 capital M solution G made by dissolving 23.46 grams of a diabetic acid this in 250 centimeters cube of distilled water so this mass was dissolved in 250 very important to note that this mass prepared a volume of 250 centimeters cube you are required to dilute solution eg standardized dilution diluted solution h using the sodium hydroxide solution f determine the mass of m in the formula h2mo6 procedure Me using a measuring cylinder, measure 20 centimeters cube of solution G and transfer it into a beaker. Measure 80 centimeters cube of distilled water and add it to the 20 centimeters cube of solution G in the beaker. Label this solution H. Procedure 2. Place solution H in the burette. Pipette 25 centimeters cube of solution F into a 250 centimeters cube conical flask. Add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator and a titrate with solution H. Record your results in the table below. So we have been given the volume that was used uh, that is the first iteration the second and the third one so we will only fill the table using the initial 0, 0.0 and then we will do the arithmetic that is 14.1 13.9 and then 14.2 uh, I want us first to understand what is happening in procedure 1 and the procedure 2 because if you don't understand that then definitely you are not going to calculate the, the whatever you are going to calculate downwards what is happening in procedure one we are taking 20 centimeters cube of solution g dilute it by adding 80 centimeters 80 centimeters cube of distilled water now we prepare a hundred centimeters cube of solution h so what is the relationship between G and H? So G and H are one and the same thing. It is an acid. It is acid what? Acid, uh, it, it is the diabetic acid H2MO6. It is that one. The only difference is that H has been diluted. So the concentration for H is different. The concentration of G is different but the number of moles in 20 centimeters cube of the original solution c would be equal to the number of moles in a hundred centimeters cube solution h note that let me repeat that once again maybe you didn't get, get it you didn't get it 20 centimeters cube of solution g has got a given number of moles that same number of moles will be equal, this moles in 20 centimeters cube solution G will be equal to the number of moles in 100 centimeters cube of solution H. The number of moles will remain the same while concentration will change. Thank you. Now you understand that we have solution H in our burette. This is an acid which is going to react with the F because we know F is a sodium hydroxide heavy sodium so this are this plus an acid these are the information which you must understand before you begin calculate the average volume of solution h used h now h this is the solution the, the volume of h that was used so we get the average 14.1 13.9 .1, we divide it by 3 
we get the average as 14.07 centimeters cube. That is the average. Okay, now we want to calculate, determine the number of moles of solution F in 25 centimeters cube. So solution F. But we know what we have solution F. Solution F 0.1 molar, meaning that this is the number of moles in one liter in a thousand centimeters cube. So we will get this one we will say 0.1 capital M uh, means that 0.1 is the number of moles which are contains in other contained in a thousand centimeters cube solution F. So what will 25 centimeters cube solution F contain? It is 25 times 0 0.1 divided by a thousand, which will give you 0 0.0025 0 moles. Determine the number of moles of the acid in the solution H in the average volume. Now, this one, we don't have much information about it, but we will use the reaction between H and, S and the F, and then we will be able to get the, <coughs> the number of moles. H has reacted with F to form products. So let us see, what is H? H is an acid. We have H, which is H is this one. The only different it is G, which has been diluted. So the formula remains the same. So H it is H two MO six plus F, which is sodium hydroxide. Because this one is a diabetic acid, like sulfuric acid, so therefore it will form sodium that is salt, MO6 plus water. So the most important thing here is the, 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 the balancing. So this one we'll put it to here. So that tells you the ratio of the acid and the, the base is 1 to 2. But we have the number of moles of the base F, we have the number of moles of F, which is this that reacted. So if 2 is 0 0.025, what will be 1? So it means that moles of H uh, in the volume used equal to a half times the moles of this, a half, 0 0.00. Five, which is equal to zero point zero zero one two five moles. Calculate determine the number of moles of the acid in a hundred centimeter solution H. A hundred. Now we have the number of moles in in, in this. In H14, this is the number of moles. This moles is in this. We will ask what about 100. So 14.07 centimeters cube solution H contains 0 0.00125 moles. What about 100 centimeters cube of H? So it is 100 times this divided by this. This one will give you 0 0.008884 moles. So moles in a hundred of solution H contains this. Determine the number of moles in 20 centimeters of solution G. 20. Press. Up here now. 
I want you to understand this, what I, I, although I have explained earlier. 20, the number of moles, number of moles in 100 centimeters cube solution H will be equal to number of moles in 20 centimeters cube solution G. If you didn't get uh, the way I explained is that remember we took we measured 20 centimeters of G added 80 centimeters cube of the distilled water forming a hundred centimeters cube solution H. So the number of moles in a hundred centimeters cube solution H is equal to the number of moles in 20 centimeters cube of the original solution G. Moles does not, uh, mole, uh, the number of moles does not change. What changes when you dilute a solution is the concentration. Therefore, moles in 20 centimeters cube solution G equal to the moles uh, which is in 100, which is 0 0.0008884 moles. This is the moles in 20 centimeters of solution G. Determine the number of moles in 250 centimeters cube of solution G. So we have in 20, what will be in 250? So 20 centimeters cube solution G contains 0 0.008884 moles. 250 centimeters cube solution G will contain which number of moles? So it is this times the 250 times 0 0.00. .00 8884 divided by 20, which will give us 0.1111 moles. Right, next one is calculated the molar mass of the acid. This, the molar mass of G. We want to calculate the molar mass of this. Molar mass is actually the same as R F M. Molar mass is the same as R F M. So we want to calculate the R F M. I want to do it to approach this one in two ways. You will pick the one which is easier, but the first one is going to be very simple. We know this. We know that moles equal to mass of RFM. RFM is the same as molar mass. So if I want RFM, I have mass, I have moles. It is very simple. So RFM equal to mass divided by moles. I have mass in 250 centimeters cube. I have the number of moles in 250 50 centimeters cube of solution G. The number of moles are here. The mass are on the other side. The mass are here. Solution B was dissolved 23.46 grams. I have the mass in 250. That one I will do directly. Therefore, 23.46 23.46 divided by a number of moles which is 0. Point zero, uh, point one one, zero point one one one. This one will give you two hundred and eleven grams. That is the RFM straight away. Uh, but I, we can also do it in a different way. Let me approach it using this triangle. Uh, morality mass in grams per liter and then RFM. So I can get RFM using mass in grams per liter. The mass we were given here is in 250. So we can get the mass in, in one liter. You will say 250 centimeters cube contains 23.46 grams. A thousand, that is mass in grams per liter. A liter will contain what? So this times this will give you 93.84 grams per liter. So now we have mass in grams per liter. 
what we don't have is morality. We have the number, morality, remember, is the number of moles in one liter. But the number of moles we have here is in 250. We can get now morality. We will say 250 centimeters cubed is the now, uh, contains 0 0.1111 moles. One liter a centimeter cubed because we want in morality. We contain what? So it is this times it, which will give you 0 0.4444. Capital M, that is morality. Now that we have mass in grams per liter, we have morality, we can now use the formula and say saying that RFM is equal to mass in grams per liter divided by morality, which is equal to mass in grams, which is 93.84 divided by 0 0.4444, which will give you 211. That's another way you can do it. Lastly, calculate the mass or determine, calculate the mass of M in the formula here. The mass. Uh, but we know when you add everything here, you get 211. So that one is easier for us to get M. H2 MO6 when you add everything, will give you 211. Hydrogen is so 1 times 2, that's for hydrogen, plus M, plus 16 times 6, which will give you 211. This is 2 plus M, plus 96, which will give you 211. So like times together, this one will give you 98 plus M, is equal to 211. So, like times together again, M is equal to 211 minus 98. So, M is equal to 113. 100 100